Hello, mommies and daddies and children, everybody, whoever is watching the video. This video is for the parents who are worried about phonics and reading. So, I gave a sentence, two fat cats chasing a rat. Two fat cats chasing a rat. So she wrote two fat cats and she is uh, still writing. Moksha, please write faster. And yes, whatever words you are seeing here, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, these words uh, she never, uh, means I never told her to sit and write these words 10 times or repeat the spell spelling 10 times. Uh, means uh, in India we say rattification, right? Repeating the same thing, same words again and again so that we can remember the spelling. So no, I have not done that rattification here with her because I believe that and I don't wanted her to learn the things like that. She, I wanted her to understand the concept deeply or to understand the sound and then write the spelling by her own okay so in this way when she will grow bigger bigger what will happen whenever some topic comes in any subject like science social science anything so she will get the things in her mind by understanding the concept not just by learning the words one word another afterward right rectification i don't ever want her to do that okay so beta moksha chasing chasing you write whatever you think you just write you are done full stop okay so moksha you did everything correct very good but to yeah now see you wrote this spelling ch chasing this is chasing or not spell this break this word and read what you have written ha hmm. ch ha chasing ho gaya na chasing what i said is chasing so what is the mistake moksha tell me I what? forgot the A. Yes, you forgot the A. So, that's good that she know the mistake. Okay, so she can correct. How? How you can correct? You have to erase it and you have to write it. Right? Chasing. Are you done? Show me. Good job. Now your next sentence is Tiger runs A Z A Very good. Very good. Your next sentence is Tiger runs Tiger runs very fast. Right? Next sentence Tiger runs very fast. Okay, meanwhile she is writing, so what what you can do, what I did is you can make the flashcards, okay. Flashcards of some sight words. Instead of printing, you can write this with marker, okay. It's up to you what you want to do, how you want to do. Because just printing makes the work more uh, time consuming, you have to make the word sheet, MS Office word sheet then print it and it will need printer so uh, by saving all these efforts you can just write it on A4 by your hand here and you can tell your kid to uh, just uh, show a card one by one suppose I tear it from here and uh, I'm folding it I don't want to tear it okay so suppose it is a little bit very faster okay this, mm. so this is run 
this is do and in the same way there will be lots of spelling so this is this is the sheet okay this is was first page this is second page okay two letter word three letter word four letter word whatever you feel you can write and you can ask okay so this is just a three sheet i'm going to share moksha you continue please here is another here yeah so this is a flash card thing and with this you can uh, show the pictures means word and associated picture okay so the kid may understand better mm. that what word indicates what thing what okay. word indicates what thing okay so yeah so in this way they will learn the sight words and when they will see the same word again and again again and again with the word they will memorize the spellings also in their mind okay you are not forcing them to memorize the words just by sound they will memorize they will come to know okay yes this is going to be the spelling k a t cat k a t cat okay if you say fish in fish what are the sounds f e sh f e sh makes what letter makes sound f f e what letter makes sound e short e i letter and what letters makes sound sh that is s h sh sh okay so sh makes sound sh sound comes from s h okay now this is going to be little tough spelling so i am not discussing about the double r or double b double letter sounds okay and suppose uh, yeah let's talk about this another three letter word s a d sad m a d mad okay so most of you might be knowing all these things but i'm just saying in case of someone whose kids are very younger like 2 or 2 and a half and they are going to start reading for their kids okay or oh, so just for them okay now i said no double letter sounds uh what else box box b o x box over okay here what else is a st st this is a blending of st st makes star st r star st r star yeah this is again a blending of cl cl and c k makes sound k cl a k clock okay map gl 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 u glue glue sk sk s k sound sk d s k okay so this was all just about sight words uh, who don't uh, who just wanted to start about the reading and phonics and here let's come back to moksha why okay very fast tiger runs very fast Okay. So this is about uh, what else you can write. Mm. 
can you write march m arch so simple march m a r c h march right here how does uh, how you will finish a sentence yes and in the next line write march m a r c h march Ch 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 yes yes write it march do you see that yes okay mm, now can you write a sentence Fli fish playing in water fish playing in water write it only fish can play in water and no one else fish octopus and what else sea horse only everybody only sea animals yeah sea animals and sometimes when we go inside the the swimming pool we can also play in water right uh, so yeah first you finish your sentence please fish playing in water okay so meanwhile she is writing i will share this book with you okay okay so i am using this book uh i brought it last year in costco from costco but i am using it this summer also because she has not finished this book yet there are so many things which are left so it is like uh, numbers playing with numbers moksha please continue fish playing in water okay identifying the numbers and objects with that uh, uh, picture like uh, it is saying color seven shells in each box seven shell okay so these might have more than seven so you have to choose only seven and you have to color them okay so this is kind of numbering and after numbering this all is numbering upward lines okay this is okay 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 coming so moksha is done with her writing okay she already know all these things so she is feeling lazy while doing all this mm. and basic concepts okay the here is the comparison high low up down and above below okay and in out all these activities are there and uh, more and less everything um, yes i did this one again yeah this is the <laughs> how do you feel this okay so this book is having most of the things which a kindergarten should do so now in this summer she has to finish finish this book this one is my and, favorite and uh, yeah we have to start another book so okay so i want to tell you have to find you can find a book something like this which is having something like this okay all the things you can it can come in one book or multiple books just engage the kids okay it is having science also somewhere front and back you yes science wait let me see something what what is now what is that one tattoo i think tattoo oh because it looks like a tattoo yeah winter sleepers who are who what animals sleep in the winter healthy 
choose to eat. Yeah. So, you have to find the so healthy the things. So the way is this, this. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. This, 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 this. Okay. So, and what is this inside? I the... didn't come to any junk food up there. Okay. Mammals mix up. They have to find the... Mammals. Mammals, mammals. Okay, so this is kind of science and everything. It's a bit a word book. This I have shown you. Okay, so you can find a book which is something like this. Okay, and yes, Moksha, please show what you have done. Fish playing in water. Yeah. So these are some uh, few basic books with which I started. This uh, is like workbook in which all the letters are there. Just kids have to trace it. So most of the parents have this. Then these can be... Uh, this. this one is the easy book. Yeah, this one is the easy book. I will tell about it. The second number thing which comes here is uh, this animal book. Okay, these animal names can be used as sight words also. Okay. Yeah, so this animal book can be used as a sight words also. You can hide the word and you can ask a kid what is the name of this animal. Uh, okay, so like this, this is a very big book. Very big means uh, how many pages? Hardly. See, this is the big book, but its pages are thick. Okay, cardboard book. Next comes a sm other small, uh, small kids books, which has, see, it's a cardboard page book, okay? Small, small sentences, easy, which they will uh, learn very joyfully because that is a grandma and a kid's story, okay? This is all the same kind. Have you ever tickled a tiger? Haha. <laughs> so yeah, these I have so many books. If you want, we can make the reading part of it also. Yeah, anyways, I'm going to make the reading things also. This book we got from library. Because what happens when the library want to bring new stuff, so they give old stuff to people, they distribute, they donate. Right? So you can say that we got this as a donation from the book. Oh, sorry, from the library. Very small, small sentences, very easy, very easy and small sentences. Okay. So, I will keep sharing you what else I have done. You're lucky that you have your teeth, says a sad, sad snail named Simon Snet. I don't have one. I can never smile. Like smiling Sam the crocodile. Very good. You can turn the page. Hmm. That's okay. Whatever is there, read it. Clams have no teeth, says Pam the clam. I cannot eat hot dog or ham. No teeth at all. Says Pam the clam. I cannot eat roast leg of lamb or peanuts, pizzas, popcorn, spam. Correct, correct. Not even hug. Yes. So, what word is this? Huckle. Very good. This is huckle. And what is this? Berry. Now join it. Huckleberry jam. Very good. 
Hmm. Without teeth, we cannot play trombones, says a jellyfish named Jumbo Jones. Again, read this word. Jimbo. Yes. Jones. Okay. So, friends, this was all about uh, uh, phonics and reading. Okay. If you have any question, please ask in the comments. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.